It will take time, but it's hoped that slash and burn activities in Indonesia may soon wind down. The letter of intent signed this morning will pave the way for Singapore to go to the ground, speak to farmers and plantation owners, then implement specific programs aimed at tackling the root cause of the forest fire. We will continue to work together with them. The government has already committed to reduce it by 50%. We will monitor the hotspots. We will share with them the satellite images. I think if we can achieve that, that's already very good at the start, right? Meanwhile, at the ground, where we are collaborating, we work closely with our partners and ensure that the training programs that we have uh, agreed to do be implemented at the ground. And it's no small sum to do this. Singapore is injecting $1 million to kickstart initiatives under the master plan. While some plans are on a long-term basis, others may be implemented within one to two years. Uh, over the next three months, we will be working on three specific areas. The first one will be to identify, to develop a sort of a fire danger rating system. Right? This will enable the uh, jumping officials right, to sort of assess what is the likelihood of uh, fire breaking out, for example, right? if, uh, through such a system. And the second area will be uh, helping the jumping officials to be able to read and interpret the satellite pictures, right, where the hotspots are so that they can actually be able to quickly uh, mobilize action and you know, go to the hotspot areas to uh, tackle the fire. To facilitate this, Singapore will help Indonesia set up two fire danger rating stations. 20 Jumbi officials will head up to Singapore for training between January and March next year. Also part of the action programs identified for joint implementation by Jumbi and Singapore are capacity building workshops on fire prevention to help villages and plantation companies better cope with the problem. Besides taking an educational approach to stop the traditional practice of land clearing, both sides are also getting farmers to explore alternative livelihoods. The other part which is very, very important is of course the alternative livelihood that we talked about. Uh, Singapore food industry is an express interest and we hope they can also start that. If successful, both sides say the plan will be replicated in other fire-prone districts in Indonesia. Indonesian environmental officials are also in talks with their Malaysia counterparts on a similar working partnership to battle the haze. Claire Huang, The Straits Times.